Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered what existed before the creation of the universe? This question has intrigued humanity for centuries, sparking debates, theories, and an insatiable curiosity that's led us to continually probe the mysteries of the cosmos. The universe is a vast, seemingly infinite expanse of space and time, filled with countless celestial bodies and phenomena. Its grandeur and complexity are awe-inspiring. From the smallest particles to the largest galaxies, everything we perceive is a part of this cosmic tapestry. Yet the origins of our universe remain shrouded in mystery. Throughout history, we've sought to understand the universe and our place within it. From the early astronomers who mapped the stars, to modern physicists who delve into the quantum realm, we've come a long way in unraveling the cosmic puzzle. Each discovery, each breakthrough, takes us one step closer to understanding the grand narrative of the cosmos. The most widely accepted explanation for the beginning of our universe is the Big Bang Theory. According to this theory, the universe sprang into existence from a singular point of infinite density and extreme heat around 13.8 billion years ago. This colossal explosion set the stage for everything we see around us today, from the galaxies and stars to the planets and life itself. But the Big Bang Theory, as comprehensive as it may be, only scratches the surface. It tells us how the universe evolved after the initial explosion, but it doesn't explain what caused the Big Bang or what existed before it. This is where the true mystery lies. What was there before the Big Bang? Was our universe born from the ashes of a previous one? Or is it merely one of countless others in a grand multiverse? The answers to these questions elude us, but they continue to fuel our curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. But the question remains, what banged and why did it bang in the first place? Now imagine a balloon. The Big Bang Theory suggests something similar. Picture a balloon, empty, and uninflated. This balloon represents the universe before the Big Bang, a state of singularity. Singularity in this context is a point of infinite density and temperature. It's a concept that's hard to grasp, like trying to visualize a color you've never seen. Now think about blowing up that balloon. As you inflate it, the balloon expands from a single point into a larger and larger sphere. This is a simplified model of what the Big Bang Theory proposes. About 13.8 billion years ago, our universe began to expand from a state of singularity, much like the balloon. But here's the kicker. It's not just the stuff inside the universe, the galaxies, stars, and planets that's spreading out. Space itself is expanding. So when we say the universe is getting bigger, we mean that the very fabric of space is stretching. It's a bit like dots on the surface of our inflating balloon. As the balloon expands, the dots move further apart not because they're actively moving, but because the rubber in between them is stretching. That's how we think about the expansion of the universe, and this expansion isn't slowing down. In fact, it's speeding up, fueled by a mysterious force we call dark energy. But that's a topic for another time. And remember, this balloon analogy is a simplification. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in the traditional sense. Rather, it was an event that began the expansion of the universe. The singularity didn't expand into space, the singularity expanded and became space. So if the universe has been expanding for over 13 billion years, it must have started somewhere, right? And if it started, that implies there was a time before it began. But this leads us to another question. What existed before the Big Bang? Could there be other universes, a multiverse perhaps, that existed before our universe? This question takes us to the thrilling realm of the multiverse theory. This theory, as audacious as it sounds, posits that our universe might just be a tiny bubble in an infinitely vast cosmic ocean, filled with an infinite number of other universes. Imagine a cosmic landscape, a sort of multiversal terrain, speckled with an innumerable number of universes, each with its unique laws of physics, dimensions, and cosmic characteristics. Some may be teeming with life as we know it, while others might be barren and desolate, devoid of any life forms. Some universes might be unimaginably vast, dwarfing our own, while others might be infinitesimally small, barely the size of an atom. But where do these universes come from? One hypothesis proposes that they are birthed from cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion of space that occurred fractions of a second after the Big Bang. In this scenario, our universe is just one of countless bubbles of space-time that have been popping into existence since the dawn of time. Another possibility is the quantum multiverse, where every decision creates a fork in the road, a split in the universe where each possible outcome of that decision is played out. In this scenario, there are countless versions of you, 
living out every conceivable life you could have led. But, of course, all of this is speculative. The multiverse theory, while fascinating, is still very much in the realm of theoretical physics, not yet supported by empirical evidence. It's a captivating idea, a tantalizing possibility that stirs our imagination and challenges our understanding of reality. So, we return to our initial question, if there are multiple universes, then could we possibly exist in someone else's universe? It's a mind-bending prospect, isn't it? As we continue our cosmic journey, we'll delve deeper into these fascinating theories and the profound implications they hold for our understanding of existence. Opening, but what if we told you that there could be a universe within us? Let's take a moment to marvel at the human brain, a marvelous structure of intricate complexity that remains largely uncharted. This three-pound organ, a seemingly insignificant portion of our body mass, is the command center for the human nervous system. It's a powerhouse of thought, memory, emotion, and command over body functions. The brain houses roughly a hundred billion neurons, each one a tiny universe of its own, buzzing with electrical activity. To put this into perspective, that's as many neurons as there are stars in the Milky Way. Yes, you heard that right. The brain, compact as it is, contains as many neurons as the number of stars twinkling in our galaxy. Each of these neurons doesn't exist in isolation. Instead, they're connected, forming a vast network of interconnections. Every single neuron can connect with about 10,000 other neurons, creating a mind-bogglingly complex web of communication. So, with this level of complexity, can we consider our brain as its own universe? Perhaps in a metaphorical sense, yes. The brain, like the universe, is a vast, complex, and largely unexplored space full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. This brings us to an even more intriguing idea. If our brain is a universe, could it potentially host life? It's a wild thought, isn't it? But let's remember, we're in the realm of speculation here, where science meets philosophy. Imagine for a moment that each neuron is a star, each synapse a planet. Could there be life on these planets? Could our thoughts, emotions, memories be the life that these planets host? It's a concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of both the universe and ourselves. It might seem far-fetched, but then again, so did the idea of the Earth revolving around the Sun once upon a time. Closing. And if our brain is a universe, could other civilizations potentially live within it? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we find ourselves faced with even more questions. We've embarked on a journey, a quest for understanding that has led us to contemplate some of the most profound questions about our existence. We've explored the theory of the Big Bang, that monumental burst of energy, that moment of creation when everything we know came into being. We've pondered what could have possibly caused it and what existed before. Yet, these questions remain elusive, the answers tucked away in the folds of the universe, waiting to be discovered. We've also pondered the concept of a multiverse, an infinite number of universes, each with its own laws of physics, each potentially harboring its own forms of life. It's a mind-bending idea that challenges our understanding of reality. But as captivating as this theory is, it's still largely speculative. Our scientific tools are yet to catch up with our imagination, leaving the multiverse a tantalizing mystery. And then there's the universe of the brain, a complex network of neurons, as numerous as the stars in the Milky Way galaxy each neuron intricately connected, forming a vast, intricate web that somehow gives rise to consciousness. It's a fascinating idea to imagine our brain as its own universe, or that we could exist within someone else's. But this concept, like the others, is a frontier of scientific understanding, a field ripe for exploration and discovery. These theories, these ideas, they challenge us, they provoke us, and they inspire us. They make us question our place in the cosmos and the nature of reality itself. They remind us that we are part of a grand cosmic story, a story that we are only just beginning to understand. We may not have all the answers yet, but isn't the pursuit of these cosmic mysteries what makes the journey so fascinating?